Angelos TV, God's voice that brings hope to the nations. And now to Rev. Michael. Praise the Lord. Let us go, turn to the book of Romans chapter 8 and verse 31 up to 37. This is an amazing portion of scripture. It says this. What shall we say what shall we then say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? If God is for us, who can be against us? So he goes on and he says, He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Who shall lay anything to the charge of God? Of God is elect. It is God that justifieth. So nobody is going to lay a charge against you because you are the elect of God. Because God has justified you. He has justified. You are the justified of God. So everything that is coming up against you, every accusation leveled against you, God is dismantling it. It's possible you are going to the court this morning. It's possible you have been accused. But because you have put your trust in him and you have confessed your weakness and your sin to him, God is going to cancel the church sheet that is against you. The reason is because you are his elect. Not necessarily because you are always right, but because of his own righteousness, just on account of the fact that you have put your faith in him, he comes to fight your battles. Who is he that condemneth? It is Christ that died, yea, rather, that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of God. Who also maketh intercessions for us. Now, this is a very powerful one. Who is it that condemneth you? Now, this one is very simple. It is true you have done things that warrant condemnation. But because you have believed in the Lord Jesus Christ and repented of your sins, that condemnation has fell on Jesus on the cross. He has taken away your condemnation and my condemnation and he, he nailed it on the cross and he did not just nail it on the cross when he was buried he buried it and beloved he rose again from the grave he is alive by his resurrection he sealed the work of redemption for you so there is no condemnation then he says what shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. So, there are so many things that you face.
tribulations, nakedness, hunger, peril, pestilence, court cases, everything that has come up against you. But you know what? But you are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus. So Christ conquered it for you. You are a victor in him. You don't have to be worried. Victory is now your portion. And you need to walk in that victory and praise the name of the Lord. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you. If you are for us, who can be against us? We wake up this morning knowing that, Lord, you are for us. So no one can be against us. We wake up this morning, Lord, knowing that no weapon formed against us will ever prosper. We know that, Lord. And we know that if God is for us, no one can come up against us. And we know that we are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus, our Lord. So this morning, Lord, and this hour, we declare your blessedness on our lives. And we are so happy that you are with us to bless us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This broadcast was brought to you by Angelos TV. To continue enjoying this spiritual nourishment, click on subscribe button below. Click on the notification bell to become the first to know when we upload another video. Thank you and see you in our next broadcast. Bye.